Schumann's fantasy pieces were played with sincerity. There was warmth and intimacy to the sound. It was round, uh, the tone was warm, and the candidate also gave good flexibility to the tempo. The ebb and flow, the rubato worked well. In the second and third fantasy pieces, there was a need for real drive and energy, particularly the third one marked with fire. And I think the assertiveness, the energy and vitality needed here, particularly in terms of the character of the rhythm, um, was not fully realised. There was room for more range of tone and range of attack to really differentiate the different emphases, particularly in the third of the fancy pieces. But these were very positively communicated throughout. The stylistic character of Weber's concerto was clearly grasped. There was a strong concept, a stylistic concept, a feeling of the candidate understanding the musical background and the musical context of this concerto, these two movements in the concerto. And this is a piece with 
strong technical demands and delivery was generally well controlled. There were many uh, moments of impressive agility and facility which were absolutely suited to the context. Again, perhaps the, the more extrovert uh, bravura qualities needed here where there's a sense of, of genuine purpose and power to the playing wasn't fully achieved and there were moments particularly at the top end of the pitch range and sometimes at phrase ends where tonal presence was a little bit lost uh, or the quality of control of the sound wasn't as consistent uh, as elsewhere in the range and in fact there were some small timing errors and inconsistencies in in the control of time during the performance <laughs> The third piece was Homage by Kovac, and there was strong engagement with the idiom, the character of, of this piece. One could say that the spirit and the message of the music came across strongly. There was a personal communication here of those. And this is a piece that does require some management in the sense that it's episodic. There are sections that stop and then there's a, a change of tempo or change of character. And the candidate hand, handled the flow of that narrative well. There was good intonation and particularly persuasive were the folk improvisatory effects. There are things to, to be done in this piece which convey uh, an idea or feeling that the music is being made up on the spot and uh, that came across well. So moving on to think about the performance as a whole, things that we can say about it once the performance is finished that we can't necessarily say while it's still in progress, and thinking about delivery, interpretation and communication. Delivery first, an overall quality to this program and performance was impressive technical assurance, a sense of control and good management of the technical demands of the music. There was a good match between what the music was calling for technically and what the, what the candidate had as to meet those demands. There were some inconsistencies, however, um, and in particular, the kind of musical spell was, was broken at the change of clarinet because the Weber Concerto started rather flat until the instrument had, had warmed up. So there was an opportunity in terms of instrument management there, and that's a delivery, it's a technical issue, there was an opportunity to take more time to warm the instrument up so that it was in tune with the piano before starting. And that's something to do with performance and, and delivery, as a technical aside. Um, moving on to interpretation, there was real individuality in, in many of the moments of the homage, the last piece that was played. And the other pieces had some stylistic characterization, characterization, but there was room for rather more range, a breadth of insight, particularly in the Schumann fancy pieces and in the Weber. In both of those, the more extrovert, energetic, vital dimensions to the style and character could have been enhanced by more contrast and more outward interpretation. In terms of communication, there was no doubting a genuine feeling of personal involvement throughout the programme. A candidate who's sincere in response to all of the music that she'd chosen to play. But of course, some of the delivery and interpretative issues are going to have an impact on communication. 
I'm thinking also, for example, at the beginning of the slow movement of the Weber, <clears throat> and this was a, a management of the sequence and pacing of the programme, uh, for a moment the candidate was actually on the, the next piece as opposed to the next movement, and there was a bit of confusion. And it, that's going to interrupt communication, and, and so is intonation to some extent. Um, but overall, there was a feeling of genuine commitment in the communication, the musical communication. So taking everything into account, overall this is going to come out as a merit.